Alright, here we go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Luigi. Forgot about that, yeah. Anyway, so we start out in the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, but we then exit course and go back into the Mushroom Kingdom. Yes, uh, so now I'm over here instead of where I started, which is a better place to start for the coins, because I need coins. And why do I need coins? This is a side level. Normally, in side levels in Super Mario 64, you can't get 100 coin stars. But, uh, in this game, Brodu, like, modified it so that side levels have 80 coin stars. And I say 80 coins because he also changed the number to 80 coins. Alright. So, that's that. And now I'm gonna be getting some stars here. Okay, that's a good color. Yes. Alright. And also, this game is non-stop, so every time you get a star, it just brings up the save dialogue instead of warping you out of the level, and so you get to stay inside the level, keep all your coins every time you get stars. And you can just keep getting stars, and then... there we go. Uh, so this game has 216 stars in total, which uh, it makes it helpful that it's non-stop, because there's so many stars. Uh, Alright, okay. Uh, it's fine, because I have extra coins in the route, I don't need to worry about missing one like that, and we'll be okay. Alright, uh, two star- yes, this is good. Okay. This many- alright. Yeah, yeah. We're good. The numbers add up. Alright. So this section has toxic gas, you're kinda intended to have metal cap for this, but like, if you're fast enough, you don't need it, so... Like, we'll be fine. We go fast here, so... Things like metal caps, we don't need their protection. Alright, so then... That's the 80 coin star. Oh, all right. Uh, so now we've gotten our stars, so we're out of here. And now we can go through this one star door, which actually has a flag. Yep. So you gotta do the cutscene for that, because it's a one star door. He doesn't have any other star doors that are the right multiples of things, so that it gives you a cutscene, which is like 1, 3, 5, no, 1, 3, 8, um, 30, 50, oh, there's a 50 star door somewhere, isn't there, so, that probably exists, uh, alright, so we do this Cooper race, like, alright, He's kind of slow, but I do have to wait for him. Uh, doing other things, the other things are just too far away to do with, before I can get back here. So it's faster to just, you know, wait for him to finish. Alright, here we go. Oh, that angle's not good, so I'm not gonna try to roll out over that gap. That's not gonna work. Um, All right, so I'm gonna ride this shell up this mountain. And then one more star here. Get some super speed from the slope. Looks really nice, especially when you get the double jump off of that. My angle doesn't seem to be perfectly straight. Oh God. There we go, okay, we're up there. A little bit of scuff movement there, but you know what? We'll go with it, alright. 
Uh, so this gives me enough stars to go to course 3. Star doors in this game are a little bit weird. Sometimes they require a set number of stars, sometimes they require at least one star from a different course. For example, course 2 requires one star in course 1. Like it has to be from course 1. And course 4 to enter requires one star from course 3. So I'm gonna get 6 here right now. The point of this route is to try to minimize backtracking. There's no way to completely avoid backtracking. It's gonna happen because of a certain... Oh god, I got hit once. That's not good, but you can make this with one shot. Okay, so you aim like that, maybe? And hopefully I land close enough to the edge that I can make it over with a lava bounce? Yes? Okay. We made it. Alright. So yeah, that, that's a skip. Like, normally that star requires, like, wing cap and metal cap. Well, technically it doesn't, because you can, like, do some fancy platforming that allows you to skip the caps. But, like, intended-wise, you're supposed to have metal cap and wing cap for that. With some judicious lava bouncing and, like, wall kick ledge grabs, you can uh, get around that. So me missing that Goomba blue coin is gonna be annoying later, hopefully I don't miss any others, because there's only like one set of five backup coins. Oh god, no, don't do this to me. Okay. Uh, but we do have backup coins, so we're gonna be okay. So, we'll just continue on with this, okay. I'll have to remember that I'm five points short. Oh, I could get destroyed by Goomba RNG later. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen, because I already missed five coins, so... My backup in the event that these Goombas jump off a cliff, uh... Are already going to be taken, so hopefully they don't jump off a cliff. Because if that happens, I don't really have a good backup. Okay, we're good, I think. Yeah, this is an actual cliff, and they can't jump off of that. But the slope they can run down, which is effectively them jumping off a cliff, because that's a very steep slope. Okay. So we should be okay now. I'll just have to jump all the way down here to these coins, and we got it. Alright. Alright, so now we just have to do this thing, which is a little awkward. These little turn blocks are their thing that Brodo has in hacks. Uh, how do I do this? That's right. Okay. Ah, oh, didn't make it up. Oh well. You can actually land on the block with the side flip and then chain a double jump to make it up to the next platform immediately. It's a pretty nice movement you can do there. I did not do it though. My side flip was just not quite good enough. Alright, so now we enter course 4, which requires one star in course 3, as you see that the sign says there. And the reason we're going here is one, to get up to 90 stars, because we need to have 90 stars to hit a certain switch, or to enter a certain course later, really. Uh, so we need to get 90 stars, but we also need cap switches, because we're going to want to get those as early as we can. Oh, please. Okay. Yeah. Course. Didn't quite make it far enough to make the lob bounce. Anyway, so I'm going straight into the metal cap, which is nested inside of course 4. And that will... Uh, is there... Uh, there there are places where we need metal cap, for sure, in the hack. Um, like, it's supposed to be required in order to enter the vanish cap level, but it's technically not, because there are skips for it. You can either shoot a cannon or do a fancy triple jump wall kick. Uh, I like having metal cap as just a backup for that triple jump wall kick. Uh, you'll see the situation. 
once I get there, which is kind of... It's not too far away. Uh, but anyway, alright. Metal cap. Yeah, in the original game that this is a remake of, Star Revenge 6, um, the Vanish Cap was inside of Force 4, rather than the Metal Cap. Not sure why that was changed, but it was. I mean, SR6 didn't have a metal cap, because it used the metal cap switch in order to do a warp box. And so he just like took the metal cap out of SR6, but he's added it back into this game. So I guess this is where it goes. And thematically it makes a lot of sense, because, you know, Course 4 is a mountain. And so if you're going to put a mountain in a level, or if you're going to put a cap switch inside of a mountain, then it makes the most sense for that mountain to be like kind of a volcano, and then have it be metal cap with fire thi- oh no. Okay, well that's awkward. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, nice little point switch there. Because as usual, this is not a main course, it's a side level, but we still need coins because like I said at the beginning, he made every level have 80 coins. Well, not every level, but uh, most of them. There are some exceptions that have alternatives to coins. Star Revenge 6 is actually decent, is a thing, but yeah, um, this attack is very nice, it's like, in a way, obsolete, uh, Star Revenge 6. Although Star Revenge 6 is a lot different than this, like, the levels are not in one-to-one -one correspondence with SR6, so, like, you know, in that sense, it's not like a 4.5 obsoleting 4 type of deal. Especially because 6 is not non-stop, and, you know, it only has 120 stars rather than 216. So it's quite a bit different. Um, oh, got that first try. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that, like, needs a really good, um, whatever it is, wall kick or firsty to get enough height. If you hit, like, at the max height of your triple jump, like, maybe you can get away with, um... Why do I only have 72 coins? I usually have, like, 75 here. This is weird. Okay. Doesn't matter. Got it. Uh, oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. Star count adds up, though, so we're, like, I don't know. I don't know how the coins didn't work out the way I was expecting them to, but, ah, uh, okay. I must have missed something, like a scuttlebug somewhere. This is a nice metal cap and shell combination. You use the shell to ride under that little thing. Oh, wait, that's not how you do it. Oh well. Slightly unoptimal lava bounces. Uh, yes, okay. So we get to abuse the shell right here that you get to exit this place by using it to climb up this steep slope that's here that Brodu put in the level for atmospheric purposes, I'm guessing. But this is a nice way to skip the Vanish Cap. Like, normally the intended way to get to the star requires a Vanish Cap, and the fact that we don't need it is nice, because we don't have Vanish Cap right now. So being able to get the star right now is very nice. Okay, um, let's hope I make this. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, no! Alright, that jump is really tight, so it's a little tough. Uh, 
can I make this? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we still made it up there, it's okay. Uh oh, who's messaging me on Discord? Um, sh oh, that was probably for uh, the purposes of the fact that my audio was muted, that's probably what that message is about. But I saw it in Twitch chat, so we're okay. Um, yes. And I have chat popped out this time, so hopefully that doesn't like make my computer go haywire again. Uh, okay. Because if it's just the chat and not the whole of Twitch, even with the stream paused, it should possibly take less RAM and, uh... But, I mean, you never know with Google Chrome. Sometimes it just uh, decides to use a lot of RAM for nothing. Um, but, you know. Anyway. Uh, 6.5, it's decent. It's very quick, in general, I guess. I, I, I'm kind of a fan of, like, the Hidden Stars, uh, hacks of Brodu, like, 6.5 and 7.5. Uh, those kind of hacks are kind of nice. Incidentally, also 5.5, I guess, would fall in that category, although 5.5 is a bit more of a remake style than a Hidden Stars style. It's, you know, somewhere on the spectrum between those two things, but... Although, no, 7.5 drastically changes the levels as well, so that also probably uh, makes things. So yeah, 5.5 .5 is in long that vein, I guess. But most of the other ones, the .5s are remakes rather than hidden stars. Okay, Forest of Fear, this is Bowser 1. I'm going here because I need a key. Yes. We do need those in this game. Um, uh, you know, sections of this level are cut up and put into Star Avenge 11. Uh, using this music as well for that part of the level. It's fairly early on in one of like the entrance quizzes. There we go. And good old Star Revenge 11, the only Star Revenge that isn't made by Brodu. Alright, so we got those coins, we're moving. Uh, Alright. There are plenty of coins in this level, so you see that row, or that column of five down there, like I can just skip that. I don't need those. There are plenty of coins otherwise. I want to jump down to this panel that makes panels routing really nice to start there. Yep, okay. I hope I don't get eaten by a fish. Uh, but we're probably gonna be okay. It's pretty rare that that happens. Oh, oh god! <laughs> Yeah, they can get you even when you're on land, as far as I know. It really looks like... Yeah, this, these fish are terrifying. Okay. Uh, oh no. Don't fall in the water. Oh god. Um, Alright, we're okay though. We're okay. Oh, that wasn't quite the right angle. I guess a straight, um, a diagonal angle with like a perfect 45 degree didn't work because this game has 45 degree wall kicks so you're just prone to bonk on that okay um yes i think i want these although i probably well yeah i have like three more than i strictly need but it's fine i'm just gonna skip the scuttlebug because who needs those coins uh because I already have 75 and there are 5 right here, so if that makes 80, which is the number that you need for start. Okay. 
Uh, I kind of want to beat this one first, I guess. It doesn't really matter. There are like two stars around here. Or these paths lead to them. Uh, so actually using the metal cap right here. Um, as far as I know, this is necessary. I don't think you can skip that switch. By the time Brodoot made this, he knows better than to leave the star too far outside of, or, you know, too close to the edge of those switches. Because a lot of the times he made those kinds of things, he kind of didn't quite place the star right, and you could cheese those stars by just, like, swimming into the switch and getting the star. He's definitely learned his lesson on that one by the time uh, he made this hack, so probably can't be cheesed. I haven't really tried all that extensively, but I have faith in Brodoot's uh, anti-cheese abilities by this point. Okay, um, so now we're gonna get the key. Already have 80 coins, so we don't get to worry about that. Alright. Didn't fall in the water, that's nice. Okay, let's see. Uh, the arch. I mean, there are platforms right here, so like, whatever. Okay. I just kind of prefer to arch that for some reason. Alright, we are inside of the... <laughs> yeah, after the Redone 2 incident, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I think that's when he learned to patch those. Yeah, so we have this Wiggler inside of this arena with a bunch of fish in the water. The Bubba's are hungry. Um, please, quickly. Yep, see, they're, re they're really out for blood, you see. Uh, and they got they got some schmoves on them, too, so you gotta watch out for that. Um, Alright, and then if I exit course in here, it, I'll come back out into this entrance, and then I can go here to get this star. Oh, wow. All right, there's a Bubba in these waters here, but there is also a star, so I need to get that. All right, we out. Uh, and then we just exit course again. In this game, when you exit course, it's the same as if you just die instantly. See how the, the health has to refill? Yeah, he just coded that to kill you, so that you exit course into, you know, back to the level that you were in, so you don't have to, like, go all the way to the beginning each time. Alright, so now we're in Overworld 2, for now, uh, go into a Snow Woe Lake. That, that's what this level's called, yes, a Snow Woe Lake. Because bro dude, and yes, okay. So we're gonna immediately go into the Vanish Gap. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna shoot this cannon and get over here. Grab this metal cap for good measure, but then try to skip the metal cap. But if we fail, we fall in the wall. Okay, we failed it. All right. So we're hitting the switch, and we're climbing up that way. Um, yeah. I'm not going to waste too much time trying to cheese it. Oh, God. Uh, uh, that... Okay. Um, we have enough time. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, well, that's, that's really something. I kind of messed up the slope there. I don't know... What was going on with that? I guess we're trying it one more time. Ah, didn't quite make it. Uh, you can ledge grab that if you drift correctly. I somehow didn't. I don't know how I managed that, but yeah, okay. Uh, no, 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 don't do this again. Oh, no. Uh, yes, this is a thing that's happening. Uh... Uh, maybe third time's a charm, huh? Okay. 
It's a very tight triple jump, like even getting the triple jump is awkward, but all right, we did it. We got in there. We got in there eventually. All right, so now this is like the Bomberman 64 glacier level thing. It's like... Uh, psh, uh, that's not good. Uh, well, it's not that big a deal. I'll just do things a little bit out of order. There's not anything I need the Vanish Cap for just yet in this level, so the fact... Oh god, uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, what is happening? Alright, just, just, just stop. <sighs> stop freaking out. Just chill. It'll be fine. Um, okay, I thought I was gonna left grab that, so my drift went the wrong way. Alright. So we're gonna do a very big long jump and hopefully land on safe ground. We did, alright. Uh, this angle's not the greatest. Okay, it's fine. I think you can long jump. And then wall kick, yeah, good. Alright. Okay, now we've worked back to the beginning, and we'll go here for now. Alright, and then we'll take this detour here and go on this warp, because this warp has the Vanish Cap switch, and also a star. Okay. And I want to get the Vanish Cap before I go to the other part of the level, because I'll need that. Alright. Okay. So yeah, this level does not have an 80 coin star, it has red coins instead. For star 8, because there are 8 stars per level, because that patch has been applied to this. I think the 8 stars per level thing was first made, well I actually don't know if it was either Frame or Scuttlebug Razor who made the 8 stars per level patch, but uh, it was one of those two, I would think. Uh, it does that by using the cannon bit as a star, so instead of the game storing the data of whether the cannon is open, it treats that as another star in the level, which is how we're able to put eight stars in the level. This also has the side effect of opening cannons when certain stars are collected, because it just uses the same data for both. Uh, and this hack uses that to gate access to certain things. Because the way the cannons work, for some reason, whether the cannon is open in one level is stored in the memory for another level. So a star in one level opens the cannon for a different level. And Brodoot makes use of that to, yeah, have certain cannons block off certain places. And, uh allowing you to get the stars at the right time in order to get those, although we kind of have some skips for those. We can skip using certain cannons, depending on what version it is. Uh, there's a cannon in the overworld. Okay, so the star has spawned. Right, good. Oh, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. All right, this was a disaster because it took forever to get inside of Vanish Cap, but, uh, all right. So now we go back to Snowball Lake to collect some stars. Good old Snowball Lake. Yep, okay. Uh, this, uh, did not quite make it. Okay, that's nice. Um, should be fine, yes. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, do I need that coin? I probably don't need that coin, technically, but no, it's fine. Uh, so this level also has reds, which... You know, not all that many levels in this game have reds. 
I mean, they're all inside of this little tower, so they're all in the same place, but... But, yeah, these reds do not replace 80 coins. You have them in addition to 80 coins. Yep. Just like wall kicking up this tower. Uh, you know how it goes. Uh, uh, I'm not supposed to wall kick that. That probably would have given me the coin. Alright, I have to go across this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then there should be a coin here. Oh, hold on. Um, this is terrifying. This is not my route. I don't know what happened. I did the wrong route. Okay, well, let's see if we can't figure out. Okay, that should be an okay replacement. Well, this might actually be better as a route, now that I think about it. Is that other coin you gotta climb a little bit with wall kicks to get to? That other coin I had been originally intending to get? Okay, then you just drop down here and continue on our way. Alright, yeah. Coin count's looking alright. Okay. Nice little triple jump skip here. That skip is quite difficult if we are, uh... If we're on 1.0, or 1.0.1 or something? No, 1.0. Yeah, 1.0. Either one, really. I'm on 1.1 though, so slopes don't instantly make you belly slide if you stand on them. You can actually do standard slope physics. Um, yeah, I think this was like early on in the development of the patch that was later used in Mario Adventure, or not Mario, another Mario Adventure, AMA, uh, to make it so that you could jump normally on every kind of slope, which kind of breaks slopes. Uh, but... Um, right, okay, so we're going over here. This is just to get enough stars so I have 90 stars at the right time. Also, this star is, like, awkward to route into the rest of the level, so I'm kind of killing two birds with one stone by getting rid of this star here. Which allows me to use that skip when otherwise trying to put the skip into a route of this level would be awkward. Yeah, and so instead of like making the slopes like they are in another Mario Adventure, he, something went wrong and instead it just made it so that as soon as you stand on a slope, it just makes you go into a sliding state. So you can't do any like shenanigans of like landing on slopes and jumping and stuff. It's like very awkward. It's basically slide terrain for literally every slope in the game. <laughs> Alright, that's all I need from here, for the time being. I have to take two trips to most of these courses anyway, so... Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter how much I do, as long as I get enough stars on the first trip of each, uh, to have the right number of stars when I need them. Okay. Now to sand from Koopsko. It's a city of Koopas. It actually has the same name that it had back in Star Event 6. Most of the other courses have completely different names than their counterparts, if they even have a counterpart. A lot of them don't. Like the Vanish Cap course in Star Event 6 just completely disappeared. It's just not... Yeah, that race is kind of tight. 
but you know, I still can collect all the coins that I want during it as well. Because they're on the way. Oh god. I, I got wrecked by the jump. Hit my head on the platform that was moving out. Yeah, Star Powder Valley was kind of terrifying in runs because of the wing cap star. Getting hundreds in that level was, was scary. Get up here. Okay, yeah, I kind of want those points. Uh, I probably don't actually need them now that I think about it. But this level has a lot of points. Yeah, okay, 73 is good. So, a nice little skip here. You just drop down onto this box from above. Hopefully, I didn't ground pound too low, but I think I got it. Yeah, alright, we're good. Okay, then we just go back up. Uh, and now, oh yeah, there's some, there's a star in this place. So this is also where we need to get the Vanish Cap in order to visit the Harm Police Headquarters. Yeah, so ever since this game was made, the Harm Police now have their headquarters here in San Francisco. So, stay away from San Francisco if you're a Harmer. Because the harm police will come for you if you try to bring that harm into San Francisco. I'm telling you. Anyway, so the wing cap is inside of this level. And you need the Vanish Cap to get in there, because there's like walls in the way, you know? Now Ever Red Mountains, which is a terrifying level. It's a Wing Cap course, although there's very little use of the Wing Cap. There is use of the Wing Cap, but, you know. It's like an entire level, and you can't just like break it by having a Wing Cap, because it's pretty big, and so... The short wing cap duration means you kind of have to just use the wing caps as they were intended to be used, because if you try to bring them elsewhere, it's just too far away, you'll run out of time before you can do anything with it, really. As far as I know, I could be wrong about that, potentially, but you know what? I completely... Uh, I pretty much did most of the, the bulk of the routing and strat finding for this entire game. There have been other strats that people did... Um, and people found that I, you know, improved on my routing and strats, but for the most part I just did a run of this, like, in the early days, back when it was 211 star, because that's how many were in with the original version. Uh, funny story about 211 stars, um... So people were not supposed to find the 211th star, but I forget, like, how that was even found. But somehow, I think probably Sodium Chloride Logic was the one that found it, if I'm right about this. I could be wrong, but that's ringing a bell on who was the one who figured out the star. Um, Alright, so, doing a nice little skip here, you can kind of climb up the slope, because it's 1.1, uh, uh -huh. 
Uh, Alright. Uh, okay. Um, yes. Alright. And again, like, who needs those moving platforms? We just can jump on the slope and do our slope shenanigans. I uh, don't no need to worry about silly things like those sunshine platforms. Okay. Um, yeah, then we just jump down to the star. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That's not good. Um, okay. What do I do about that? Uh, let's see. I missed a lot of coins from that, so I'm gonna need to go collecting coins. I'm gonna see if I can find enough coins in the level that doesn't involve going back through that wing cap route that I did to get there while collecting the red coins, because I don't want to repeat the entire level, you know what I mean? Uh, I want to see if there's any way... Oh, there's a blue coin switch! I'll just use that instead. Hopefully that's enough. Um... Ah! Okay, we're, we're living, it's fine. Uh, Alright, um, so, the plan is to go like this. Alright, ate it up. And they're just here, right? Oh, there's only four blue coins. Uh, that's only 20 coins. That's not good. Um, well... You see... Maybe if I just go intended way up that area... There will be some coins on the way that I can get? Hopefully? Maybe? Huh? Hopefully this works out. I didn't really have a backup coin route, and I'm just kind of trying to do this on the fly. So we'll see how that goes for me. And, uh... Please don't completely destroy me. Alright. Alright, so that went well. I quickly collected the caps that I needed and sent to flying. Alright, yeah. Yeah, that's what's scary about this level. Like, you can die very easily, because it's... yeah, anyway. Alright. Okay, so 62 coins, hopefully that's... Yeah, that I think that's enough. But I'm gonna have to go this intended way to make sure I get enough coins. Yes, yes, I'm... Not in my usual place for marathons because the snow happened and I couldn't drive. But yeah. Anyway, um, and then the timing worked out, so like there's no way that I can. Okay, I don't need the scuttle bug. There's a ten coin box and also more scuttle bugs, so we'll be fine. All right. So that's the coins, the, the, the impromptu coin route worked out, it seems. And, alright. Uh, yes, okay. Yeah, those bridges were probably hell on 1.0. Uh, do I play this safe? I kind of want to play this safe. Alright. Oh, no, that's not safe. Come on, buddy. It's not safe, my guy. Oh, god. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to hold Z. To... Yeah, I'm dumb. Alright. I don't know what I was doing. I said I was gonna play it safe, then I didn't, and then I messed it up. It, it should have been safe. Yeah, I know wind is terrifying, but like, I can't. Oh god. Is there any way? No, not even. Okay, I need to just, like, walk through the wind. Yeah, this like the wind, it's wind, and... Okay, just like a couple of those kind of things. Then we can do this, and we're out of the wind, we're fine. Alright. Uh, yes, we just continue on to this level over here. 
in our quest to collect enough stars. Okay. Um, yes, we go like this. Oh, no, no, no. oh, how could you do this to me? Okay. So this is another level that does not have 80 coins. Instead, there's a red coin star somewhere in the level. Eh, this one's not too bad, Marv. And I'll say that now. Um, anyway. I mean, yeah, you can die in this level, but there's... There's no 80 coins, so dying is not that big a deal-ish. Although the red coins are freaking terrible, dude. Uh, <laughs> Largs are not good. They just behave too unpredictably. They're very difficult to deal with. Hopefully my coin route's, like, pretty good. Okay. Get lava bounce for those two coins. Uh, two coins. Okay. Okay. Then hopefully he doesn't really shoot any fire at me. Oh, he did. Oh. Oh. Uh, am I gonna make this? I am. Alright, excellent. Okay. How long since I've done a run of this? Um, well... Like an actual run that I've streamed? Quite a while. But I did do... Like, segments of this by myself. Just to get an estimate. The segments, when I did basically one run of each segment. Maybe not all in a row, but, like, it was just one run of each segment. Maybe with some resets for one of them. It was, like, a 242. So I just put 245 as the estimate. Um, I know one of the segments was, like, really bad. The one with the wing cap in it, I just... It was terrible. Uh, so, you know... So that 245 has a lot of mistakes in it, so, like, it should be fine, is what I'm saying. Okay, I think from here you just exit course and re-enter faster than having to, like, get back to the beginning manually. Alright, um, yeah, you go this way, this way, okay. Yes, that worked out nicely. Okay. So there's a star hidden between the two yellow candy canes. It's at the halfway point between them. There's some text box somewhere that tells you about that. Alright. So now to Bowser 2. Which is like an important part of the route. Um, hello? Oh, excellent. Okay, um, that's how that goes, apparently. Respawn box. Alright. So I go into this mode of Lack 2 Cam for this, because the camera angle change from hitting lava after wind cap is very bad. It like completely turns the camera 180 degrees because Mario turns 180 degrees right when you lava bounce, so when it transitions from um, you know, flying camera to parallel cam, it just like your world gets completely turned upside down as far as camera goes. Uh, so it's better to put it into hard-coded parallel cam so that that doesn't happen. Yeah. 
I mean, this is basically Green Mario with an L on his hat. His body is very much Mario's body rather than Luigi. Luigi is a bit uh, taller and thinner than Mario. So I think this is just, I, I think we refer to this as Eco Mario. I think that is the, uh, I think that is the proper term. All right, let's see. Yes, okay. We'll go over here. And I think earlier in the ma marathon, someone mentioned about a lying sign. That, that, oh no, what am I doing? No, no, oh, oh god. I guess I'll just get these now while I'm down here. Um, yeah. Okay, here we are. So anyway, that sign there says that one of the signs is lying. These arrows that indicate which ones are real and which ones are fake. Uh, turns out none of them are lying. Uh, and the one that was lying was the sign text that told you about this. So that was nice. It was a nice little outside-the-box riddle from Ruby. Which you would figure out as soon as you just try things and be like, Oh, none of these signs are wrong. Or you might just not even read the sign at all and then just, you know and just follow the arrows and be like, oh, you know, nothing nothing suspicious about this, because if you just don't read the sign, then, uh, you know. Which is probably what a lot of people did. Um, so they don't really get that there's a joke there. Because they just didn't read the sign and probably just followed the arrows and be like, yep. The arrows just told me the right thing. There we go. Okay, I guess Brodu didn't consider that possibility of people just not reading signs. Because then the little trick he pulled would be all for nothing. Because, I mean, if you just don't read the sign, then... <laughs> Okay, these panels are terrifying, by the way. See all these little uh, red barriers? That's death barrier, meaning if you walk into it... Not just if you walk into it, but if you're in the air over it, you're dead, alright? Oh no. No, don't bully me. <laughs> okay, we're fine. If that bully had knocked me into the death barrier, I would have been... I wouldn't make that much of a difference if we're being real, because I just got the 80 coin star, so I wouldn't, like, lose my coins or anything. And then I'd just have to go back into this room, which would not be that big of a deal at all. Uh, but yeah, okay. Uh, there are paths here, alright. And hopefully these chuckies don't get me. Because if they grab you, even if you mash out, you're probably still gonna die just because of all the death barrier everywhere. The hallways are very thin here. There isn't even room for a Chucky to drop you in these for the most part, unless you get a very lucky angle. But, uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so that's all the stars here. We still need... Well, we don't technically need the key, but I like getting the key because, uh... I do not like BLJs. And this particular BLJ is, like, very bad because you have to, like, build up speed and then turn afterwards and... And also do so, like, fairly precisely as far as the turning goes. Yeah, so you can just kind of jump over that and that stops us from having to hit the blue switch, which allows us to enter here real quick. You can also jump over the other one. It's a bit harder to execute, though. So I prefer jumping over the one that I did. But that relies on having pressed the red switch, which I did earlier, but if you die, then you won't press the red switch again, and so you'd have to do the other thing. 
and I know that because I know that. I know. As many other uh, runners and or commentators would say, I don't want to talk about it. Okay. But like I said, the panels are terrifying. Let's just put this uh, lead at that. Alright, so we're in the fight. We just exit course to get out of here. You know, pretty standard stuff. Press the switch to get rid of those blue blocks, and then press this switch to get rid of the red ones, and then jump up here, and uh, yes. We just kind of uh, jump down here into this mysterious portal, and uh, that brings us to this place. Usually you're supposed to take a cannon shot to get here, but the cannon's not open right now, and I want to go here, so you just kind of jump over the level and, like, it's fine. Okay. Alright, uh, yes, and now we are at the slide. I go left to right for some reason, uh, which leaves me doing the tricky slide first. Uh, yep, okay. Alright, uh, hopefully I can get this angle right. That looks okay, yes, it's okay. Alright, so then we do this. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh yeah, there are a bunch of signs here, um, with all sorts of members of the community, you know? People that play hacks, mostly. Some people who make hacks. Uh, this is all the signs that appear in the level, and the new version, he kinda put them all here. Got a bunch of people there. Yep, okay. So now the next part, which has another collection of signs. Uh, yeah. He didn't give me one of these because I already have my shout out in San Francisco with the Void Harm Police. So there wasn't really a need for him to make a sign for Newly here. Oh. Yeah, okay. At least I don't remember there being a sign for me in this one. But yeah, I mean, that makes sense because. San from Koopsko is basically its own sign for me because of Void Harm Plays. Uh, so yeah. And I know that in... In Starvenge 3.5, where they have signs, that has Void Harm Police as a sign, so... You know. I got I got my representation on the billboards in Starvenge Hacks. Although... Yeah, it was pretty late into the, into the Starvenge series where he started giving me signs. Oh, Spaceman Hotel. I would have thought it would be Marv Hotel, but I guess this was made before uh, Katsu stuck in the toilet 64. So yeah, this is the reverse slide where you take a shell to go up the slide in reverse. That's yeah, very nice. Um, okay. Yeah, this level is basically the same slide three times with some variations on them, you know? Probably only got like three hours of sleep tonight, but uh, I seem to be okay despite that. Mostly, if I'm playing something, it's hard for me to fall asleep. I guess you know, I can't really be tired if I'm playing Mario. It requires too much concentration for that, I guess. 
so much so that I can barely talk straight most of the time, as you've seen. Um, okay. Yes, Mario is hard. Okay. Uh, okay, we got it. Yeah, I mean, that's what happens when I schedule the runs based on what the schedule needs rather than any other considerations. I, I, I know some other runners may have, uh, you know, been a little bit uh, rambling when they when they play, but I am too, okay? Just because you might not notice it as much, like it definitely is. All right. All right. So because we have to go back to these levels anyway later, because of reasons which we will find out about very soon. Uh, I'm just gonna get one star here, and oh, very good. Oh, you mean like Kaze Quills? <laughs> Hopefully this angle's okay. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Alright, so we're here, and then we're out. Alright, uh, so now we fight this boss here. Yeah, okay, the star count, star count works out, yeah. I've been following the route, so, yeah, I should not have doubted this. Okay, uh, so this is Time Rock, yes, it is Time Rock, because you can see the clocks, oh, those aren't clocks inside. But this is the clear, like, Time Rock skin. Like, it's very obviously Time Rock, okay. So once again, because we'll have to come back to this level later anyway, we're just gonna get this star, and then leave. Um, so the reason we want this is because it has Course 1 Star 8 in it. This star opens a cannon in the overworld, which is the overworld is the level that's before Course 1. Uh, so then we exit Course and come outside of Course 1, which just so happens to be right next to this little pool that you can swim into and come here through the system of pipes, um, which is a nice pipe system that you can find as soon as you have one star, uh, but... Alright, so we're gonna get this star on top of this cat bag, and that'll be 90 stars. And this is the magic number that we need. To enter a certain course, which is course 13, which is probably my favorite course in this game. Uh, this game is mostly, like, pretty solid all the way through, so it's kind of hard to pick a favorite course. But I think course 13, just the way it plays, is really nice. Um, so in the early versions of this game, you can walk on those signs, the signs with the skulls on them, and actually cross this pit without the cannon. Uh, it's like pretty hard to do because you have to like quicksand left grab on the sign, but um, yeah, okay, so yeah, this is just uh, Starvenge 3.5's course 1, but like reworked to be contaminated. Thus, its name of Contaminated Harbor, which provides yet another remake of a Starvenge 3 Course 1 into the you know, list of things that have been remade. Uh, but yeah, this level is real nice. Because the route is nice. I mean, yeah, 3.5 is a good hack, but speedruns of it are awkward because one, the 2D levels, and two, just the gauntlet of skips and tricks you have to do right at the beginning. But anyway, I'm just 
just gonna take this vanish cap and arch up there, which is a skip, by the way. You're supposed to climb this little crane thing and then warp in there. But, uh, who has time for that when you can just arch up there right after the vanish cap, which I need anyway to go to this star right here that's over this roof. So this is very nice. Uh, skip and stuff. That just makes the route very efficient. And we all know that I like efficient routes. Uh, that's probably not close enough to the note block to... Oh, we got it! Uh, probably lost... Probably, you know, it would have been better to just not even go for it, because I spent so much time setting it up that it doesn't even save time. But, you know, it's nice to get that star dance skip. It's a nice little, uh, thing you can work into the route. There we go. Okay. So we're out of here. That level's very fast, by the way. Alright. The stage RTA for that is like three and a half minutes or less. Something like that. It's crazy. Alright. In there. So now we fight this boss, which is like a giant swamp made of lava. So if you ground pound the wrong place, he will... yeah, I'm dead. Oh yeah, that's a trap. You just ground down through again. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I was doing earlier. Alright, so we got the star, so we're out of here. That area is just for the boss fight. You need to go to the next one. Alright. So it's very nice, because this level does not have a yellow box which I have not yet even mentioned because we haven't gotten the switch yet, but we're about to. Um, it's not in this level. It's actually in the next one. But um, I only have to take one trip to this level. This is the first level that we enter that we only have to take one trip to. Oh, actually, Tour Some Trouble is the first, now that I think about it, because that one also just has eight stars. And Star 7 is not gated by the switch or anything. Okay. Um, yeah, we're making that. Uh, what was I doing with the camera? Okay. Um. Hopefully this timing is okay. Three, all right, we're good. Yeah, these rails are kind of awkward. There are like invisible walls around them. Like literal walls that are invisible. And they're there so you don't fall off of the rails. Okay. This warps back here, and you go up to the other side of the peach statue. Yeah, this level is just a giant statue of peach. You can see the, the folds of the dress here. And now we're going up into the statue itself, 
where there are some panels. I need to get this one. That's important. So this is a nice, uh, you get the slow fall with the wind cap here. You don't actually use it to fly, because you need to land on all these panels, so trying to fly would not be very useful. And then we'll warp right onto the star. Uh, what? Okay, that was good. Alright, so yeah, that's the reason we had the star spawn when we warped. So that we could get back up here and slope jump onto this rail, which brings us right to the star, so it's a nice skip. Saves probably a lot of time, makes the route real nice. Um, yep, okay. Then we have to jump down here. Hopefully I got a good angle. I did. Alright. Alright, so yeah. There's a box that has the real star in it. All of these stars are 12 stars. I think there's a text box giving you a hint on how that works. It says like X marks the spot or something. And you notice that the troll stars are arranged in the shape of an X. And so, if you just uh, ground pound at the center of that X, you find the star. Indeed, that's how it works. So then you do a lap around the island and collect reds along the way. Yeah, this is this is a path, yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course you only need six out of eight, which means I can go this direction. And there are just enough that I can get going this direction that things work out. Okay, so that increases my coin count by 12, and then I can go up here, grab the coins from these Goombas, and that'll give me 80. And that's that level. Okay. Now we go to Sakura Cliff. Which has the yellow switch. Yellow switch? What? Since when was yellow a switch? Didn't we already get three cap switches? We had the metal, the vanish, and the, the wing. So, what is this? What is this yellow switch? This yellow switch is the reason that I have to visit every level in the game twice. Except for Peach Statue. And tore some trouble. That's what this yellow switch is. Uh, more specifically, it uh, opens. Uh, it makes boxes that contain stars in them appear. And the only way to get those stars is, you know, with the boxes. So of course, you need the switch in every level to get one of the stars. Um, but yeah. This is one of those games that has four cap switches. Uh, I guess the fourth cap switch was 
probably... Okay, I guess uh, Forest Ruins has a yellow switch in it. Although it's very broken. <laughs> uh... Oh yeah, Old Sight, that is true. Okay. Yeah, that, that also has eight stars that doesn't have a box in it. Yeah, certain special courses don't have boxes, but every other one of them does. Yeah, so there are actually four cap switches in Mario 64. Uh, it's just that one of them is unused and is very broken. But they modified that, uh, no, okay, let's just do this the normal way, let's grab that, and then, uh... I mean, like, if you do it right, you can, like, wall kick off that, and, oh god, what's happening? How do I... I guess I'll triple jump for good measure, I don't know. Um, that is not a good thing, um, okay, so let's... Not do that. All right. And now for like the the most terrifying star in this level, and possibly the entire game. These platforms are. And like your depth perception is kind of skewed because of the waterfall, so this is uh, very difficult to do. All right, we're up there. You know, it doesn't really look that bad, probably from the outside, but this star is like a hell to deal with. Oh, uh, what the? Okay, I'm alive. All right, uh, that's a thing. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just take- oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll just take the two bounces. Uh, oh, we can't take the two bounces anymore. Uh, okay. So I guess we're going around the long way. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. Okay, so what I do is arch this thing. Okay. There we go. We're back. So yeah, I had to hit the switch, of course. Alright, that's 80 coins, and then the star 7 box which is right here. Okay. So now I have to go back to Contaminated Harbor to collect the stars that I did not yet get, because, you know, Yellow Box exists in this level, so you have to take two trips to it. And now for the slide kick. We made it. Alright. Alright, so now we're done with this level. That's all there is. Uh, we uh, do some other stuff. Well, I didn't quite nail it, Marv, because if you do it well enough, you can actually ground pound the box out of the slide kick. Alright, so then we die, get here, and go back to the Mushroom Kingdom for our second trip to the Mushroom Kingdom. Because we need to take two trips everywhere, yes. Alright, so this is the box that we need. 
the spring just takes you right to it. It's nice. Um, all right, then we go inside the house. Oh. Well, more like stage RTA on Mark. In this game, single star is not really that big because of the whole non-stop thing. But stage RTA in this game is nuts. All right. Back when Scuttlebug did the stage RTA competition. Well, that also included um, full game runs. Contaminated Harbor was a hotly contested stage RTA. Uh during that competition. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not. I ended up losing to Phantom, but that was only because uh, the triple jump over the roof during the Vanish Cap run, I did not think of while I was doing stage RTAs of that. So like, Phantom just had a huge advantage from being able to use that strat, and I didn't know about it. So I pretty much had no chance, but if I had known about it, it would have been very close. I mean, it was already kind of close, but, like, that strat only saves a few seconds, so, like, it was within seconds, but, like, yeah. It was, it was a very hotly contested stage RTA. I grinded that for quite a while, and ended up not having anything to show for it. But, you know what, that's fine. Phantom is a legend, and that, how can I compete with that? Like, that's just, yeah, alright. I almost did, but, you know. Ah, uh, no, routing 70 star, 75 star was not rough, because I basically didn't route 75 star. I just kind of threw together a route and was like, yep, okay, this is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to do any timings or anything. I'm just going to take, like, the beginning of my 211 star route and just, like, maybe cut a few slow stars, and then there you go. And there it was. <laughs> Yeah, Kotze was also in on the race on that one. Do you know how hard it is to route non-stop games, dude? I know you know. You know, okay? Like, me doing the 3.550 star route was hard enough. But then, like, doing this on top of that, how much, it ti how much time it takes to do timings for non-stop? It's nuts, dude. It is nuts, okay? Nice little star dance clip right there. Yeah, routing for nonstop is also insane simply because of the fact that you not only have to select, like, decide which stars you're gonna get, you also have to figure out how to get them efficiently. And so you have to try, like, so many different combinations of things to find whatever works, and it's just, ugh. Like, with traditional hacks, it's very easy, because you can just time each star individually, and you don't really have to worry about dependencies or, like, how, what route you do affects which stars you're gonna get and stuff like that. And, like, it's just... Like, exponentially more combinations you have to try out compared to, like, standard things. Uh, what am I doing? No, no, no. You exit course out of this to re-enter from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, okay. A little bit of an uh, overworld shuffle there with the warps to get to where I wanted to go. Well, I mean, some star orders are obviously not efficient, 
so you can discount those. You definitely don't try, like, every combination of, like, all numbers of stars in, in every order or anything like that. Like, that's... That is not necessary, for the most part. But, like, it's heavily dependent on what strats you're using, in terms of, like, which stars are good to get. If you discover a new strat, then, like, that changes everything. And so you have to retime, like, multiple combinations just from a single strat change. And it's just like, oh god. I mean, I have a system for routing non-stops, which I used to do 3.5, but, like, that took a really long time to do all the timings for. And it's also very difficult, because you have to, like, when you're making your timings, you have to, like, you have to do, like, an entire course at once and not make any mistakes in order to have accurate timing. So you have to, like, grind until you're able to get a good attempt for the route you use, you're testing. And just, uh, yeah. If you make a mistake, you basically have to restart that combination because the timing will be off because of the mistake. And it's, like, very hard to get a timer that would allow you to use save states with that. You would essentially have to, like, splice video to get the timing. To get the timer. <laughs> to get the timings, yeah. Although, with a hack like this, because of the fact that you exit course at the end of everything, you could actually use an in-game timer to do things and use save states with that. Because, you know, you can use save states within the game timer, because when you load a state, it will do the same time as it was when you made the state. Uh, so if you make a mistake, you can actually, like, correct that with save states, and the timing can be a lot easier. And then you just have the timer never stop unless you pause, and then just time until the pause, and that will give timing for non-stops. It doesn't really work like that in Star Revenge 3.5, though, because you can't exit course, you have to, like go to the exit manually. So that I had to like grind a lot to get accurate timings for, and that's why it took so long. Although, yeah, I guess with this or SR0 though, you could use the in-game timer and use save states, because of the fact that those have... Exit course gives you, uh... What's it called? It warps you out of, you know, it's a death warp. Death warp exit course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you do routing properly, it generally takes quite a while, even for, like, yeah, a lot of things. Or even for non non stop, for like the good hack. Although, if you use the in game timer, and then make an adjustment for the level entrance and so on. It is better because you can use save states, so you don't have to grind as much to get a good attempt. So that makes things marginally better if you use a game timer and save states to route. Alright, so now we're going to course 2 for the first time. I skipped entering this level earlier because I was able to get enough stars from the other levels. Um, wow. First thing. What system? Yeah, Eware, that's the method I developed for 3.5. The issue is finding the fastest way to get some number of stars from a level. Because, uh... <laughs> Yeah. 
you have to try out different routes for how to get three stars or four stars and so on. And those different routes will involve getting different stars, and you have to just take the fastest one. But finding that fastest one would take a lot of testing, so like that still isn't that... It's not that much more helpful. But you don't have to like manually grind through every com uh, uh, combination. You just need to test out the ones you think that will be fast based on intuition. Yeah. Well, when I routed Flower Cup, since that was a traditional hack, I just uh, timed each individual star, and I actually like did that systematically. All right, so there is a difficult jump here. Oh, we got it! We landed on the sign. You have to get that first try, otherwise you have to wait for the caps to respawn to reset the timers because, like, this is a very tight uh, sequence here. You need to be fast with this vanish cap to make it through here. And, like, just, you see I had, like, two seconds left when I passed through. So, like, if you lose a couple seconds due to missing that jump, like, yeah, your cap timer is no longer going to be enough and you have to redo it. Oh no. There we go. I mean, even in non-stop, routing 100% is hard enough because you have to figure out like how you go through each level to collect all the stars. Ah, shit. Um, yeah, okay, I guess... Just, oh no. Okay. Yeah, and Flower Cup, it warps you out. So it's not non-stop, yeah. And yeah, that's another thing. Skips can affect routing, and it can basically invalidate all your timings if a new skip is found. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, this way. Go. So we'll go back into Bowser 2. We need the yellow box star in there. And it's right under there. So instead of exiting course, I'll demonstrate the death barrier. Yeah. Because uh, I need to go back in here now for my second trip to this place. Course is 11 and 12. There's a portal that opens as soon as you get a star in course 11. Which I got one in because I needed to get to course 12. So that I could get the star one or the the star eight of course one to open the cannon of the world to get to course thirteen for the yellow switch. So now we've been doing the rest of this level. Oh, come on. This jump is a little difficult. Okay, come on. Not quite enough height. Come on. Why? I didn't want it to be like this. Just 
Should I give up on this and just go in Tentacore? Uh, no, we we never do that. That's not that's not me giving up and going in Tentacore. No, we don't do that here. Uh, please. There we go, we got it, we got it, we got it. That's something. At least I got the yellow box star, so I don't need to do that again. And it's still pretty early on in the level, so not all that bad. Can't believe I missed the secret. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Yeah, so everyone says anytime something unexpected happens. Like, I went through the ring and somehow didn't get the secret. Like, I didn't know that was pop. Okay, I'm warping back. Lactus coins, I want to kill it so it doesn't kill me. The Lactus dangerous, I'm telling you. Okay. Dory. A reference to uh, Dory's construction zone, a scuttlebug hack, where um, it's basically, yeah, it's weird. You just kind of tell the Dory, you, you answer some questions from Dory, and he like starts making a level, and eventually it turns into this level, because that's the way Scuttlebug made the hack. Uh, because, yeah, I don't know. Scuttlebug wanted some unfinished level to use as like for that hack, and Brodit was like, "Oh, yeah, I have this level." And because of that, uh, the Dory statue was added into this level to commemorate uh, this collaboration between Scuttlebug, Razor, and Brodit. into this wall here. Although it's not quite a wall, it's like a very steep floor. But you clip through the floor and hit out of bounds, so it's fine. Uh, why did I shorten the wall kick? I wasn't supposed to do that. There we go. Oh. 
Um, yes. Okay. Go this way. Plenty of places where the name of the game is uh, written, both on the stream and in the title. But yeah, Starvin 6.25 Legion's Adventure BX. That is the title of the, the hack. Um, I don't know. It might have been earlier than that, CP. Although I don't really remember. But I do remember, like, the SRM after this came out, we had a race between Shep and I. Where I did 211 star and he did 210 star. Because he was playing on the version where the 211 star was removed. Oh, right, it's already 2022, yeah, okay. I thought 2019 was like one year ago, but no, it's not. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, okay, 2019 makes sense now, yeah, alright. It's very true, Aglab. Yes. Uh... Wow, again. Amazing. Okay, we can make that. Let's get back up. Well, that's interesting, CB, because since I don't know what you're talking about, I must have forgotten what happened in December 2020. Well, I guess you could say a lot of things happened in the summer of 2020, right? Since that box is high, I'm gonna go to a strat that I saw, who was it, that did the backflip strat for high boxes with 10 coins? Aglab, maybe? So yeah, shout out to Aglab for backflips. Oh, Phantom, yeah, that you're probably right. 
Um, right, okay, we just go out of here, like, the regular way. Yeah, okay. Oh, did CB make a comeback in summer of 2020 and then promptly disappear again? I see. I went to the wrong level. I meant to go with Vanish Cap. Alright, so now for Star 2 and Star 7. Which are very nice. This is why I like the slope physics so much, because you can abuse this star here by taking advantage of the fact that slope collision is not completely broken. Oh, this is perfect! Uh, this is kind of hard to pull off, but we did it, so nice. Yeah, I really like this part when it goes right. Uh, it's pretty nice. So now exit, re enter, and re enter. We're not going to exit course this time, though, because this pipe is actually in a good place. Okay. So we want to. Like this kind of angle, like hopefully, yeah, alright. Yeah, that's kind of inevitable, that guy just kind of runs into you. While you're doing your little dance for the star. Oh wow, too high. Oh, no. Okay, we're good though. Yay, platform down warp. A shrink platform down warp. Okay. Uh, so now we go to Seaside Gulf Castle for the actual bulk of the course, rather than just two random stars in there, which were solely gotten to pad the star count, basically. Uh, okay, so we go with this. Oh. Yeah, I didn't feel confident in my jump there, so I just uh, landed on the little this thing, whatever this is. Oh, 
I don't like the fact that you know, my coin count is not an even multiple of five. Uh, so I'm just gonna collect that random coin that was sitting there. I don't know how it got there. Probably a bomb exploded and left it there. Uh, okay, I don't really have very many future plans right now, CB, that's the thing. I got a thesis to write. Wait, what? Oh, we go straight to Daystar Sanctuary. Right, uh, yeah, I kind of forgot where I was going for a little bit there. So, yeah, alright. Although if I lose to King 2 in, in categories, I'll have to do something, but, you know, best not to spoil that surprise. Sad thing is that joke is it's, it's, fa it's fairly real in a lot of cases. Which is strange that they even knew about that back then, back when ever my dad must have heard about that joke. They knew about it even then. They knew college was all nonsense and doesn't actually teach you anything. Wow! Side flip? Like, okay. Nice little skip there, I got as an idea from watching a simple flip video.
Yeah, I mean, usually the, uh, the spheres, the, you know, things that were, like, heavily inspired by the spheres, I mean. Basically, this is the sphere level. This is the Brodude sphere. Daystar, Night Star. These levels are generally pretty scary. A lot of uh, places to fall off, so on. Um, okay, I'll jump on that. Alright, skip all these because this is the real one you want. Get that metal cap. Come on, box. Not do? Okay. We got it. Alright, that seemed to not go too terribly catastrophically. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to all the side. Let's say. Though it's probably better to go to Bowser 3 right now. Now that I've thought about it more in terms of overworld movement, it'd probably be better to go to Bowser 3. But I'm not, oh, that's not the right way. Um, so, yeah, 2D Celeste level. That wasn't intentional, but you know what? That works too. That's. <laughs> uh. This jump's a little awkward. Okay, we got it. Yeah. 
Oh, that's, uh, okay. Yeah, that jump's a little awkward. You gotta do a lot of drifting. Well, this is going pretty well. Hmm. Um, okay. Well, that's a thing. Uh... Outside walls, which means you can't see through them. So, trying to use parallel cam at the beginning when you're close to the edge is very awkward. Oh, nice, I didn't get the ball kick. Uh, wow, okay, that's something. I just missed the triple jump input. Yeah, that was great. Okay, and we're back. Sled slope's really slippery, so you can get a lot of speed. Just jump across. Uh, <sighs> I mean, that is intended, by the way. You're probably more intended to, like, start at the top of the slope and slide down, but you don't need to go that high on it to get enough speed to go across. So, like... Um, uh, okay, I guess that works. <laughs> a little bit terrifying though, just a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the gimmick here is all of these are one-way walls, so you can only go one way through it. So there's like a particular path in the maze that you have to go through. And you also like have a very limited time on the Banish Cap, and this is actually kind of tight. I only had like two seconds left, so like... If you're doing this casually, you basically have to know where you're going in order to be able to make that Banish Cap star. Which probably means you fail at once, and then you have to remember which way you were supposed to go. Uh, oh wow, we made it up. Alright. Um, just gotta drop down for the box star. Okay, I'm probably I'm gonna destroy the testament. Like I think world record is currently like 231 by Dakich, because he's the only person who's run this. Um I don't expect that time to be particularly great. Because 211 star has like a two hour and like ten minute time by Drunk Crazy or something. Something around that. And I don't think 211 is that much faster than 216. So, like, this record should be quite provable. Oh, yeah, this custom Bowser fight made by Aglab is quite an interesting Bowser fight. Uh, that was bad. Um, yeah, okay. At least I don't have to fight the buff version. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, 216 records, 228. We've got the sub-230. I... I don't know. I don't know how I remembered that wrong, but okay. If that's the case, then I'm probably not getting world record here. Yeah. Like, maybe if it were 231, I could, but... 228, I don't think I'm really on pace to do. Not that I would really know the pacing very much. I have like two courses left, so I mean maybe. It's probably would be pretty close. Ooh. I mean this is kind of a relatively free world record is the thing. due to it not having been grinded all that much, as far as I know. Uh, I think you just side flip this and it works out. Yes, okay. Alright, that's the Bowser fight. Now I just need to do nothing and let this rock bounce back to Bowser. And then once it hits him, he'll explode for some reason, and then, um, yeah. We talked to him, and he's like, oh, okay. I'll turn into a big star now. Because that's what Bowsers do when they explode, they turn into a big star, you know? Um, okay. 
So this star opens the cannon in Bowser 2, which we skipped anyway, so that doesn't matter. All right. But we need the star, because we need all the stars. All right. Uh, then we go to Night Star Pantheon, and this one is like Daystar Sanctuary, but a lot harder. Okay. Oh, destroyed. He got the quick draw on me. Uh, I like having those coins. Oh, yes, the coins. Um, yeah, those things, which I didn't end up getting. But yeah, this is upside down Daystar Sanctuary. moving right now. Okay. Don't give me weird collision. Alright. Good. Now I'll just drop off into the void. Oh wait, there's something down here. Oh, hey, I made that jump. Nice. Okay. Kind of hard to land on the highest platform there. Usually I land on a lower one, because, like, the drifting is very drifting. Yes. Okay, um, let's hope I get the space one right here. It's the fourth one from the last one. Alright, good. Hooray for 45 degree wall kicks. One coin short. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, no, 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 don't do this to me. Okay. I'll just collect seven instead of six reds. Oh, 
Okay, so Nightstar actually went well. I didn't die, so that's, that's interesting. Okay, now just a little, a little bit of cleanup down here. Oh, that's not the right direction. Okay. Well, it's the right direction, just not the right angle. That's all. Okay. I mean, in a sense, a direction is an angle, but, uh, you know, direction is less precise than the word angle, usually, I suppose, in terms of connotation. Although, in terms of, like, vectors, direction just literally means angle. But... Let's go look at the box star. Uh, where's the yeah over here? Of course. Oh, uh, that's not the right. Oh, maybe it is. Alright, into the... What's it called? The Everett Mountains. This terrifying level that I died in. On the way. Wait, why am I going this way? I'm going to go down here, not up there. I'm doing Oh, excellent, a bomb. Okay. Alright. Now for the boss fight. Which is a King Boo. Although the actual boss part of this is the fact that these boxes are temporary. And of course, ground pounds are the best way to fight booze, but ground pounds are break boxes, so like, it makes it a little bit awkward, but not that big a deal, because you can ledge grab the box if you ground pound between two boxes like that. Allows you to get two hits in a single cycle, which is nice. Alright, I'm out of here. See if I can get the skip. Nope, we missed it. It's fine, it's not that big of a skip. Also, this gives me more coins, makes coin grabbing easier. Yeah, Distortion World is kind of a weird level. It looks pretty strange. There's a bunch of like floating stuff in the background, all weird, weird angles. Um, it's a bit more abstract than uh, most of the other levels in this game, you know? It's kind of like the, the modern art of, uh, <laughs> of Rombag levels, you know? Although, maybe it's not really like modern art. 
probably there's probably a better term for it that's more accurate, like absurdist or something. That's like a thing, right? I don't know. Um, Alright, that angle looks good. Big long jump. Oh god, that angle's not good. No, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Yay for water mechanics. Yeah, that, that's probably a good uh, surrealist. Sure. That's a thing. Yeah. That sounds like a thing. That's probably what this is. So yeah, there we go. Um, I want these coins. Do I want these coins? I probably want these coins. All right. Um, please. Okay. Okay, this way. I think you can just long jump this? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, doing something you're not sure of with, you know, 70 coins. The, the true void style. Uh, yes, okay. Oh god. Okay, um... Now just think about this for a second. This is safe. Okay. This is also safe. Alright. Um, this is safe. I don't want to get that right now because it would spawn star over lava, so let's not do that. Okay, and there's another coin there, so I'll just grab that one. Let's go with that other one. It's fine. Alright. Wait, what? Five? What? Um, uh, oh god! Oh, oh, I forgot. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Uh, so let's get this one then. Yeah, doing this with low health is scary, because if you just, like, get mixed up between which part you're on, you can die very quickly. Okay, we, we, we got through it. It was terrifying, but we did it. Alright. Um, wow, this will be actually close to world record. Because the slide doesn't take that long. Okay. Let's do the slide. The secret 1.1 only slide, which increases the star counter 216 from 210, because in version 1.0.2 or 1.0.1, it's uh, 210 because he removed star 211 in that version. Yeah, he actually removed a star from a version. That's that's how salty he was about people finding his hidden 211th star. <laughs> He was so salty, he removed it. Oh, uh, yeah. Great stuff. And it must have been sodium chloride logic that found the star. Like, I don't know who else would have found that thing. Like it was ridiculously hidden, dude. Like I don't I don't even know how it was found. I Like in the middle of the Bowser fight, there's like a secret warp you have to get to by like lava bouncing off of a Bowser fireball. Oh, fiery. Okay. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah, that sounds right now that I think about it. But I just forget these things a lot. I think it was sodium chloride logic that found the one in SR 
I, he, he removed it pretty much because after it was found, there was no longer any reason for it to exist. Pretty much. He wanted that in there for people not to find it. But then because of 2.11 clip, which was found shortly after, like, oh man. Yeah, Brody does not have a good track record of fighting against speedrunners by trying to hide stars in his hacks. Because we always find them somehow. Well, not the speedrunners aren't the ones that find them. Just other people find them. And then the speedrunners find out about it, and they're like, okay, dodged a bullet there. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's the end warp, yeah. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's the time, right? I forgot to mention that, but yeah, there we go. Uh, that's world record, too. That's uh, kind of nuts. Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah, and the estimate was like 245. That's, uh, oh, jeez. The schedule. What have I done to the schedule?